Hello and welcome. I'm Sean Hartley with Remax Escarpment, and this is the new rebranded Good News Real Estate Market Update number six. This is for the week of April 19th to the 25th. Previously, I called it the COVID update, and that's just too negative for me. We've got some great news this week, so I'm rebranding this sucker to the Good News Real Estate Market Update because I'm a positive guy, and that's how things should go. So always remember that um, all statistics that are pulled here are from my brokerage, Remax Escarpment, and we pull that from over 600 agents, so these are in real time, and they're very relevant. So let's get started with some good news. Woohoo! look at this. This is absolutely fantastic. So the appointments for last week were up 44.5% over the previous week. That is a huge jump, and I think that's significant when we look at what's been happening uh, over the past while. Uh, we haven't seen numbers like this since like seriously the middle of March or so, so it's been over a month uh, since we've seen uh, an increase like this. And look at the sold. Sold properties are 148, or up 54.1% from the previous week. We haven't seen sold properties like this since basically March, the week of March 15th or so, right when COVID and everything was starting to hit. Um, right before that, this is the kind of number we were seeing for sales. And last week we were at this number again. So I'm totally stoked that we're gonna keep going with this. Like I said, positive guy, this is how we're gonna go. So when we look at the appointment summary, what's been happening in the past week, um, it'll be remain to be seen whether or not um, this is just a, a, a hiccup in what's been happening or whether we're gonna sustain this. So while I love good news, I got my fingers crossed we're gonna keep rolling with these kind of numbers and we're gonna see the market start recovering as people start getting back out into the marketplace. So the appointment center made 1,126 appointments, which is actually up 44.5% from the previous week. Our listings were down about 6% or, or just so, but then we look at sales are up 54%. So um, that did change some of our other numbers. So our appointment sold index was down about half a point to 7.6. Not really overly concerned about that considering the number of sales we had. So it shows buyers are still serious and still making purchase decisions. So it does support the trend that even though there are fewer buyers out there looking for homes, uh, those that are out there are serious and, and, and securing a transaction and getting the home that they're looking for. So all around, good news. So popular price ranges, uh, we're seeing Hamilton really settle in, you know, between the four and 650K range, which is, is about average, I would say, for Hamilton home. Anything above 650, you start to enter in some more luxury homes, uh, things like that. Under four, well, let's just face it. If you're in Hamilton, you know there's not a lot of properties under 400 to begin with. So hence the reason the lower price points probably aren't in the top three there. Burlington saw much of its activity in the higher price range. Again, one to two million. We've been seeing that actually pretty steadily for the past month or so. It seems to be the popular point in Burlington. Um, the average sale price in Hamilton did increase slightly by about 30K up to 571,000 uh, per average sold property based on the previous week. Burlington remained around the same few thousand here or there at uh, 886,000. So we're still seeing price range shifting and not necessarily price rate, you know, price dropping or anything like that. So like I've said before, if you're waiting for the big price drop, I really don't think it's going to happen. So you can always hold out, but you know, it might be a good time to buy. Yeah, it might not be. So a uh, bit of a takeaway for the previous week. So our appointments are up 44.5%, which shows we've got some motivated buyers that really came out to, to shop uh, in the past week and make purchases. A new listing stayed flat, but sales are up. So while that's good news on the sale end, we need to still watch this number again, because if we start seeing sales really outpacing listings, we're going to be in a heavy seller's market, which for sellers might be great, but for a buyer, that's not going to be fun for you guys. Uh, multiple offers, overbidding, not much selection. You got to make your mind up in three seconds, which is which is no no real good way to to purchase a property. For sellers, you might get more money for your home, but if you got to buy, guess what? You're right back in the same boat as everybody else. So we're not seeing any major price reductions at the moment, which is nice to see. Appointment to sale ratio dropped a little bit, but looking at the sales, it's not really concerned for that number at the moment. So always remember, I don't have a crystal ball. I can't see the future. I can only see what's happening right now based on the facts and the numbers and give you my advice on what I think is going on. So how do your goals fit into this market? This is a great conversation to have. It may be a good time for you to make a move. It may not be. My job as your realtor is to make sure I look after your needs, provide you with the right answers to the right questions based on your neighborhood, not the entire board, and figure out whether it's a right time for you to move or not. 
I'm always happy to chat with you on the phone. My number is here at the top. And remember, social distancing and real estate, yes, we do that. You can always find all of my market updates on my YouTube as well. If you're not watching this on YouTube, that is. Um, you can always search Sean Hartley, Remax Escarpment on YouTube, and you'll find everything there. And just for the lawyers, it, this video is not intended to solicit people or properties already under contract agreement. Have an awesome day, guys. I'm Sean Hartley, Remax Escarpment. Cheers.